Welcome back to the Amy Kardashian and the Expert Show, where we bring some of the top experts in the world to help you transform your business and personal life. My name is Amy Kardashian, not, not Kardashian. Kardashian. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm your co-host, Stephanie Thompson. I'm a classically trained singer-songwriter. In this episode, we've been learning all about how to protect yourself, your children, and your business from identity theft. We talked about antivirus uh, software, and last segment, this is the third segment of four segments, we talked about credit cards versus debit cards. And in this segment, we're going to talk about even more interesting information with Mac Jackson, yes. our cybersecurity expert, technology consultant, and speaker. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. We are, that title. We're, we're so excited <laughs> to have you here. Yes. You always come up with new information that, you know, if I have to take my time and learn everything, good luck, right? <laughs> right. You dedicate your time to learn about all this stuff and yes. bring it to us. What is important, like you read the whole article and you bring what's important in the article. Yes. And that's what I like about your information. Because time is valuable and it's to money us. Yeah, and then we money. can learn everything so right. having someone like you doing the homework <laughs> <laughs> he's doing the homework for us <laughs> and then you come back and you tell us this this and this and this will get you there absolutely mm -hmm. that's beautiful absolutely. okay um, maybe we want to talk about how to protect your kids absolutely identity that's this now. segment talking mm -hmm. about yeah. protecting your children did you know that children called child identity theft in the identity theft world is one of the fastest growing crime mm -hmm. of identity theft? And it happens because in the U.S., when a child is born in the U.S., they're issued a birth certificate and a social security number. If that information is compromised, a cyber thief can use it to create fraud or fake um, information for the child. Mm -hmm. And the child will never know until they apply for credit or try to get admitted to school or college. Do you think mm -hmm. it's easier for them to do it because nobody checks it? The parents, they don't think, oh, why should I check my children? Yeah, it's my kids, my nobody's children. gonna know. Yeah, why should I check their credit? Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the thief, they know that. They yes. know that the parents are not checking. The person is, you know, they're obviously 10 or 12 or whatever. Right, they well, are, sometimes even checking. younger. Yeah. I got a call from a lady that said that uh, Bank of America, I'll mention her name, Bank of America contacted her and said that uh, would her son, uh -huh. I think his name is Jason, would like to uh, refinance his Mercedes. He's been paying it on time. It's been th three years, and uh, Bank of America has a new interest rate of 2.9% uh -huh. to refinance his new Mercedes. Wow. And okay. the mother was like, really? Well, it would be nice to talk to my son, but my son's three years old. Mm. So for the last three years, <laughs> somebody oh was using they created his fraudulent information, and... Um, we're able to get credit wow. on the child's name. Wow. And so the child has a great credit score and he's not even <laughs> old enough to ride a bike yet or yeah. walk. But, really walk. Uh, but realistically, who have three year old son or daughter and they're going in to check their social credit. security yeah. or credit? Mm -hmm. True. Is, it's that's why they know that. True. If you look at how it happens, how that could have happened is okay. the information has been documented that OBGYN clinics, doctor's offices, if they have employees there that um, aren't as good as they say they are and they're bad people, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. could make copies of the birth certificate and social security number and sell that information into the black market or the dark net, we call it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah, so that's the situation. They get you somehow, huh? Right, that's why they So you have to be basically one step ahead. One step ahead. Because you, you take one step, they're taking two steps. You take two steps, they're 
you know, they're taking one step. So we're, we're all, always like fighting, mm -hmm. kind of. True, but it, it's like, it's a little bit, it's protection, just like we do mm -hmm. for our homes, right? Yeah. If you have a burglar alarm system at your home and you have a sign on your front yard yes. that says protected by mm -hmm. ADP or some of these security companies, right? Mm -hmm. sure. The burglar will go to the next house. Yeah. And the next house, it, Next house, the burglar will see a sign that says, this house is protected by Glock. Okay. <laughs> or have a dog. <laughs> or a dog. The burglar goes to the next house, right? Yeah. Until he sees a house that doesn't have any protection, then that's when one's their attack. Yeah. Same thing with your identity. The burglar mm. will try to attack try people and try and try. who do not know these little techniques, the way to protect themselves. Wow. So how do you protect your children from well, identity the theft? the best way to do that is always run a credit report of yourself as well as your children. Mm -hmm. Do it four times um, a year because you can run from four each. Four times a year. Mm -hmm. Each credit reporting agency, I'm sorry, three times a year. From each credit reporting agency is every four months. That's the mm -hmm. formula. Four okay. months, every quarter basically. So three times mm -hmm. a year. Yeah, every right? quarter. Every uh -huh. quarter. Because we have three credit reporting agencies. Okay. And uh, you run your credit report on yourself and your children. But one of the best things you could do now is run a fraud alert on your children. You oh. contact the credit reporting agencies and you put a fraud alert on their credit. And by doing that, that means that your child, if he's eight, nine years old and watching Nickelodeon and they see a free credit card offer, <laughs> they can't get credit mm -hmm. in their name um, without you being notified. So they'd, they'd be frozen until they turn 18. And by the oh. time they turn 18, then you could you know, release it and let them have credit at that time if you do so if they deserve it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes it could be your own kids just trying True. to play games oh, together. You know, the saddest <laughs> thing are okay. foster kids. That's the other thing, too, oh. which, um, in this industry, is that foster kids would have their, they would stay at, at a family, stay with a family, right? Yeah. And have their social security number yeah. with them. And mm -hmm. uh, that foster family would steal oh, their foster that child's is credit. So horrible. Yeah, it's really and bad. And ruin their life. And ruin it. And then now that child's moved on to another wow. family, and they never seen you know, the wow, original family. Wow, 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 wow. So that's sad, too. Mm, that's so, sad. so by putting credit freeze on it, really. That is you. absolutely sad. Mm -hmm. It absolutely. is. Absolutely. Because it you're is. supposed to be protected by those yeah. families. Yes. Don't, the they, don't they have to run credit on those families? Background and the check, background sure, check absolutely. And everything? But if you run a background check on a family and they did it, there's no way the background check would come back unless they have committed it before, right? They have to and have that would be first time for everything. Yeah. First time yeah. for everything. That's very true. That is so sad. Yes. And you know, most of people say, well, why should I care? I have my children. They're not going to apply for credit card. Right. Or it's whatever. not going to happen to us. It's not going to happen to me. <laughs> right. But if you take an hour of your time, you right. might be saving your kids and yeah. yourself yeah. from a huge problem. And then you have to deal with it just with one hour of your time yeah. you might save their yeah it's really it's a really simple yeah. and easy to do contact the three credit reporting agencies experian Ca transunion yeah. Yeah, yeah. and um terry w give them a call and um and equifax experian transunion equifax and um call them up and talk to them and they will put a credit freeze on yourself and on your children now that means if you put it on yourself that means you can't get credit either mm -hmm. until you call back so if you want to buy a house um, or a car you have to call them back and unfreeze it Get your credit and freeze it again. Okay. So it's like you're putting a lock on your credit. Okay. Sure. Your social security. And number. also, if you want to learn more about how to protect yourself and your children, go to macjacksonjr.com. Jr.com. Right? Yes. Macjacksonjr.com. Or you could watch his show on Thursday on W O C B M. Fridays. W C O B M. Network. There you go. Yes. My dyslexia. It's <laughs> yes. on Fridays at 3 p.m. Yes. Fridays and at 3 p.m. You can ask questions, and yes. also you could send your questions right now if you're if you're watching live. If you're not, um, you could watch all of the episodes, all of the show on AK and the Experts. Right. We will be right back.